When you're in MailChimp, your unsubscribes are actually counted towards your total audience. And it's your audience numbers that determine how much you pay. So one of the easiest things you can do is to take your unsubscribes and put them into an archived folder instead because MailChimp doesn't charge you for archived contacts. So that's a really useful thing to know. When might you not want to do this? If you are using the social media ad function um, in your MailChimp account, then it might be a good idea to keep them as unsubscribed. So what an unsubscribed um, contact means is that you can take that information and use it to run a social media ad and target these people, what you can't do is email them. So if somebody unsubscribes from your email contact, your email marketing, you can't email them. They have asked not to hear from you. So what you, um, so you can't use them. So that makes sense to get rid of them. As I said, unless you're using social media adverts, if you're just using the posts, then that doesn't matter. But if you are running adverts, then their details are used to help target the adverts and you can reach them through their social media. But if you want to keep your costs low, and if you want to remove the unsubscribes, then the easiest thing for you to do is to move them from unsubscribed into an archive list. And that's what I'm going to show you to do. So here we are. We are in my dashboard. You can see I don't have a big audience here. And that's because this is my, my example account. So I'm in my dashboard. What I'm going to do is head over here into um, audience and open up my audience. I am going to go down to segments and I'm going to create a segment of those people who are unsubscribed. So here we go, segments. I'm going to create a new segment. And in a minute it will happen, it will catch up with me. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do with this segment is I am going to choose that, that any of the contacts. So we're just going to choose one thing. And what we're going to choose is the email marketing status. So here we go. It's under subscriber data. The email marketing um, status is unsubscribed. So we're going to uncheck those boxes and leave just the unsubscribed. And then we're going to come down here to the gray box and click preview segment. So you can see for this example, I've got four people um, who are unsubscribed and I can move it along. I can double check that they are indeed unsubscribed. What I'm going to do is come up here to the email address. I'm going to save my segment. I'm going to call this unsubscribed. And here we go. So we've got that unsubscribed. And what we're going to do is check the boxes. And we can check them all. The more you have, then you do get a little drop down arrow, which allows you to select everything. So if you're looking at several thousand emails, for example, what you will have is a little arrow here. Click on that. You can select everybody. Then I'm going to come up to here to actions and I can choose archive. So click on that and it says, are you sure? And this is actually some really good information. It says you're about to archive four contacts, archive contact and won't count towards your billing. So that's important. That's what we want. You can always add them back in later, which again is important to know about. Archive contacts cannot re receive any marketing communication, but you'll still be able to see their old. And then we can go confirm and that will archive them. So what that does is reduce your numbers. So you take your unsubscribed, you archive them instead of unsubscribing them. You end up paying less and you end up with a much cleaner audience.